So this is a thing. And this is also a thing. Let's go and have a look at how these things affect me. Let's get into it. <laughs> Hi guys, Woody here. Welcome back to this episode 13 of uh, Sunday League to Premier League, A Journeyman Save. Now, before we get into it and go through all the stuff that's happened since I left you, um, I just want to say, if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you could do that, that would be awesome. It does mean a lot to me. If I'm going to get 200, fingers crossed, going to be there very, very soon. You can make that happen. Also, hit that like button. Everybody likes hitting that like button. Hit it, smash it. You know, it's never just like click on it. It's always smash it. And, um, a comment down below let me know how you think we're going to go these last two games i think we're looking pretty good despite what we had up before anyway so that news thing i showed you before was like um the board were not happy with me it's actually gone up since we played one last game so i'm now on a c but if we go and have a look so the main problem they have is they want me to play possession football now i'm going to have a look at them that in a minute um sign check players devastating you saw my transfers from last time there was zero check players in there, so um, that's why they're upset. There were also this one here, play defensively solid football. They were they were very disappointed at that. Now we go into the schedule here. Um, it it looks pretty damn good. You saw us here play uh Slovakia and we drew one all of them. Then we lost two on the Sparta Prague. I mean that's pretty standard there, miles ahead of everyone. Uh, we then beat Sloven Liberic 2-1, Samuel Nlend, who keeps scoring, as you can see, his name just keeps cropping up here. We haven't scored in two games. Um, we beat them 2-1. We then drew 2 all with uh, Victoria Pleasant, which is pretty good because they're like second in the league, so they're pretty good. Um, I'll take that one, and we were away from home as well. So uh, we then went to, to home, we went back, we <laughs> went to home, and we played at Trinic. We beat them 3-1. Uh, Samuel Lend again and Jakob Sipek getting on the score sheet there. Uh, we then played Telpice, Teplice, and uh, we beat them 3 0 as well. Magnussen, the giant Icelandic centre back, getting a double there and Sipek there as well. And then we beat, beat Sigma Olomuk 2 uh, 1 away from home with Christian uh, Friedek getting on there. So until this game here, the ball were like, you're not playing defensively solid football. And I'm like, we've played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. So that was after seven games, and I conceded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a goal a game. I'd say that's pretty defensively solid. Okay, but not signing check players. I get it. Um, and the possession football. We have a look at the data hub here. So um, pass completion. Um, is that what else I'm going to show you? And yeah, pass completion, I guess, is kind of low, because that would also be our possession there. We could... Um, Possession lost. We lose a lot of possession. We could probably go and have a look, and uh, you can see I've obviously been in this uh, a lot. So possession frequently wins the ball, but loses possession. Here we are, credit Krolov. So you know our possession isn't great. So to tweak that, I've kind of gone and have to fix this up. I've gone in here and I have just literally changed our our passing to more standard. Um, so hopefully that will give us a few more. Um, cheeky little passes anyway in there. So, barring all that, it's not a complete disaster. I may have kind of, you know, at the beginning been like a little bit, you know, but in, in all honesty, you was at a C minus, and as you can see, that kind of thing came up, and it's mainly got to do with the fact we're not playing possession football and we're not signing check players, and obviously as well the fact that we weren't being defensively solid. Yeah, we kind of were. So let's let's not gloss over the fact that when I took over these boys, they were. That was our first game. That was our first game there. So they were second from the bottom. And we've now managed to get them up into 11. With the chance, with two games to go, that we could possibly, possibly, fingers crossed, we can finish as high as eighth. Everything going our way. Our last two games are against Bohemians and Glyn. So both in the relegation. And even if we don't finish above Slovakia here, which I would love to, because they obviously didn't keep the job. They were the other one who were in first We've got a great ball with points of zero. So with everyone else around here is negative. I mean, Bruno here, negative 11. So, um, 
with a bit of luck we can finish 10th and obviously if we go to the rules here it is positions 7 to 10 go for the European place playoff first round so um, we're out of that relegation scrap and we're looking good for a European spot which um, so I think the champions play and then the European plays and I'm not 100% sure how it works because obviously it's only the top four here who qualify so we'll see how that goes but like I said even if you get dragged into this here um, you go through and play every one of these teams once and you stay in the points so I'm kind of safe you know I'm kind of confident that if that does happen um, we won't finish four or five and definitely won't finish six and even in here, we've got to play a playoff. So I'm super, super confident in there. But I think if it gets sucked in that badly, the board will give me the flick. Um, so it has been a couple of days since I actually have played this game myself. Um, I've been a little bit busy. So we are going to get in today against Zlin. And then we'll go to the Bohemians game as well and see how we can go. Just press continue once. And it should be very, very close to them. Um, B team game. Yeah, all those guys can play. Um, like, um, uh, oh, 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 yeah, I guess. In five minutes, we'll see how I go. I don't play for the first team, which is tomorrow, I think. So, yeah, good. So looking pretty good, like I said, I, I'm super, super confident of winning these sets of games and, and crawling out of um, at least up into 10th, which would be fantastic. So I almost forgot we had Youth Intake Day, obviously. Um, don't get as well. If you want name in the game, just let me know. And uh, and yeah, I can change one of these young players, but we got... Uh, we've got a couple of good players who, who came in. So, youth candidates, hopefully they should still be here. Yep, here they are. Check out these bad boys. Dino Urich, two-star, five-star. I thought we would be offered these guys contracts. Wasn't that happening? Here is Dino Urich. He's a central midfielder, Bosnian, so not check which the board are going to crack as well. He looks pretty good for a central midfielder. Really, really good. I'm, I'm liking his natural fitness, determination, all those kinds of things. A lot of the stats he needs for this position are already in double digits. So, and he's 15. He could be amazing. Um, I actually have to offer all of these guys contracts in a minute. But we will. In a minute, we've got a right back here. Kevin Kaplan. 15-year-old Czech right back. He looks pretty decent as well. Very aggressive. He's potentially four and a half. So, another one there. And, um, they're the less sick. Yep. He's a defensive midfielder or a midfielder once again. He's got some fairly decent stats at determination. He's nice and brave, which is good. Might need to go for an eye test at some point, but that's by and by. He's by star potential as well. So some really good youth candidates candidates in here. And then we've got Pavel Vel Vel Enka. Defender, defensive midfielder or a midfielder there. One and a half stars at the moment, five star potential. He's aggressive. He's tall as well. well I can say he's, no, he's only 186, but good jumping reach. Marking, tackling's already good. Once again, a lot of these stats that you need to be good in his position, these guys have them already in double figures. And the last man here is Michael Vesley, another right back or a central defender. He's probably a bit short to play central defence, probably more of a right back, especially with his pace of 10. Makes a rush of 12 at the moment, and he's only 15. So he could be very, very good as well. A couple of four-star heroes as well. Peter Costum is a striker. He could be pretty decent as well. He's got some good physicals for 15-year-old already at the moment. Miroslav Krejic. 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 Maybe. Don't know. Midfielder as well. Um, brave as. So he looks pretty good. And then we start to go down a little bit. Um, a little bit there. But I thought we had all these guys offered contracts. I might just do that now and get that over and done with, eh? All oh, right, so here we are, game day. We've done all those youth players. So we've, we've uh, I haven't picked the team properly yet, have I? Oh, yeah. So, so organised. So organised. Like I said, I haven't played it for a couple of days, and I'm all over the shop. We've got Mavumir in goal, Finnick at right back, Williams at left back, Duntes and Magnus in central defence. He's coming for uh, Aidenrick, who hasn't been playing that well recently. 
Coda here is the deep line playmaker. Friday here is the central midfield. Sipic on the left in the inverted winner. Volcano on the right hand side of the winger. Selahi as an attacking midfielder, and obviously that man went up the front. Let's go and play Zlin. It's a long video. It's going to be a long video today, so I do, you know, I do apologize that we're in minutes in, and uh, we're intending to get two games in, so that could be uh, recent crazy justified. But although match preview was it a TV game? Look at that form. Win, draw, win, 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 win. We are on fire. And Zlin's form. Yeah, they've just won their last game, but they are not in the best of form, and they are looking to avoid the relegation. Super pumped about this. And this key highlight's good. He's only extended for a couple of games for some reason. I don't know why. So we are looking at the league table. A, a good win here. We'll check with Slovako. 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 I think they played Spider Prize. So they are probably going to lose that game. Let's get some encouragement out there. Because that would be good if they, if they lose. And we, we pick up a win here. Even a draw would get us ahead of them going into the final round of the season against both humans. Not sure who they play, but a win there would definitely get us up there. Anyway, first half of the game, 38 minutes in. Not good. And we're on the ball here. Magnus in there. But the Dantes. Dantes? I don't know. To Selati. These names telling me to sit back here on the left. Going to try and get the ball in from England. It's Friday to back to Codas. Codas turns. He has a pop. Frick. 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 Frick can't get the cross in. But there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Lyndon Sally. Sal. Aki. Sal. Aki. Lyndon. Good old Lyndon. That was great play there. And a good time to score as well. This is it. We just kept finding people who were in space. Got the cross in, but got the rebound and unmarked in the back of the net. Thumbs up. Double thumbs up for that one. Can it now with the throw in? Can we can we nab another one here just for half time? That would absolutely be amazing. It's a lend now. Can't quite use his pace, but he flicks out the winger, crosses it in, and lend. It's headed away by his Lynn defender, Codes now. Onto that man again, and then Lend couldn't get up there. That's fine. I don't, I don't expect Lend to be getting many headers. I don't think he's at all. I can't remember. But it is Lynn on the counter attack now as they look to try and nab a goal before half time. But we have stolen the ball back through our giant Icelandic defender, and we are going to look to counter and Lend. And Lend. It's that man, Samuel Lend. It's his ninth goal, of the, ninth goal of the season. What a move. Just before half time, an absolute double blow by Hrdek Kralov here. Friday there with the chicken thing with this, and Len doesn't even, he runs past it. He is that fast, he runs past it. <laughs> and uh, that is great stuff. Let's get in the dressing room, and point your finger. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We're doing well, but we can certainly find another gear. Pumped, 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 pumped. How are Slovako doing? Slovako. They're still drawing, drawing nil all, but we're up to ninth. Fighting for now with the corner. And Magnuson! Tiger Magnuson! That's his third goal in the season. Oh, uh, we all know the corners are overpowered in this season, especially at that near post. And yes, I'm going to exploit that all of that. All the time. All the time. And then Sparta Prague. Kind of a title wrapped up here at this point. And we will probably need to make a couple of substitutions here, I reckon, in a bit. We might even, at 3 0 up, we're going to go to our. Oh, we are playing a less pressive one. Whoops. Oh well, we'll stay on that then. Um, Sipex not playing that well. We're going to get Hudrick on. The left. And we're going to be Khan Wilkie Browns on the Mexican Dutch boy who is pretty decent. He's, he's played quite well. We're going to put him in here behind the striker. Tell him I've got faith in him. Get back out there. Let's get a couple more goals. It is Zlin now on the ball. I thought we were playing a pressing tactic, and we still win without a major pressing tactic. 
It's a new mail on the ball and oh boom. Great save there. Keep an eye on everyone down here fighting with like he is possibly going to be the next one to come on. Although well, Magnuson is pretty tight as well. We've got the corner. Can Magnuson get another one? There he is. Oh, he's so powerful here. Yeah, I mean he's huge. He's absolutely enormous, as we've discovered here at uh, 194 centimeters. What a player. We might get him off for Heidenreich. And it is as Lynn now on the account of Tack trying to get something out of this game where they have been super duper poor and they head over the bar. I mean, they've been really poor. At least down to 14. Spire Pride, they haven't done it. They're not doing us a favour at this point, but we're up until 9th. That's crazy. And we're back down into 10 because Solaco have got a 90 second minute winner. But we walked our way with this one nice and comfortable. So lucky they're being sad, slightly apart. Um, yeah, it's good to see my guard. It's playing well. It's like, yeah, it's doing good. You can't even win the possession battle. Oh, give it a rest, mate. Alright, whatever. Hello, no. Oh, no. Fine. Leave him to the physio. That is not good because that is one spot we have really, really light on. We're probably going to play Wookie. Wookie Brahms up front, I think. And we'll bring Lask on. And we've still got Rebecca. Um, the other check, the young striker on the bench, but that is a big blow to have them laid out like that. Real big blow. Anyway, we have 10th in check first division. So this is going to come down to the final day of the season. We've got Bannock Osterbar, who are actually one point behind us. But good win against, let's see, we were playing the final day with two. What are Soblaco doing? They are playing these guys who are pretty decent. So, see, this is a head-to-head, -head, even though we've got a better goal defense, I'm sure it's a head-to-head, -head, and we, at some point, so Vlaco, we drew one all with them, and there you go, we lost 3-1 before I was managed, so there you go, head-to-head, -to -head, they're, they're ahead of us, so, um, we're looking for them to lose there, but at the moment, we're safe because Banik Ostava playing Slovian and Liberic, who are pretty, they're in six, so they should be looking pretty good. Let's go and play that final game of the season. Right, players are dropping like flies. Like, Mavuma is out for a couple of weeks, which is a bit of a blow. Um, so we're going to have to put this guy back in goal. He wasn't, he was, he, he's on loan from Slavia Prague. He, he wasn't too bad, but um, anyway, I mean, we don't have another choice. And Daniel Finnick has also gone down. Uh, it is a couple of days though, it's still not going to be right for this game, we're going to probably just... Oh. Yeah, we'll get, get this guy back out on the bench, Samuel Lend is back in training, but we're not going to rest him, look at these injuries, boom, 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 boom. So we're not, we're not at full strength, and these two apparently don't like playing with each other as well, which is good. Um, so, those changes there, Man Manduas comes in at goal, and the Rabina, you know, right back, and obviously um, Wilkie Brems up front. Hopefully we've got enough that to do it, um, just in case you were interested, I don't know if you are. Uh, Belarus, I played my first game, we played San Marino, we popped them 4-0. I've got a game coming up against Scotland, and we've been drawn in the European League Division 1, Group 1 with Romania, um, Armenia, and the Faroe Islands, so... I think we've got a good chance there. I think Faroe Islands and Media will, um, will do us... We should do well against them. Um, I have to check the rules for them, but I'm sure you don't want to get too, too tied up in that in my... Um, yeah, sure. Too tied up in my, uh, my international career. Teams are warming up. This is it. This is a big one. So... Um, I just learned that the Bohemians literally played their Czech FA Cup semi-final game about two days ago, and so did Slovakia, so they should be absolutely shagged. Um, 
Basically, you go and make a few friends. Cool, right. Big game, big game, away from home, Bohemians. Everyone in this weird office block thing as well is watching this game. So they've lost their last game, that was that semi final that they got. We were in a pretty good run of form before that. We are killing it though in the form standings. This is it. This is massive. We want to keep a huge eye on this league table and, uh, and what's happening happening around. So already, Panic Ostrava have gone up 1-0 and that puts us down to 11th. That is not good. So we need to win. Unless obviously Slob and Liberic get one back, which they should do. They should do. We'll see. 10th? 10th is fine. I'll finish 10th hands down because that puts us out of that relegation fight. So Vlaco are losing, so they've been there 2-0 down now. Wow. They are going to get pulled into the uh, relegation fight, as we are going to look to have, and you know what? I just realised we're still playing that one. And now we're going to have to make this substitution here with, look, Phil Butcher coming on there. Is he better behind or up front? It's the same. We'll put him there. Give the team to all point the finger and go and make the I've got to change that think back. Absolutely next manager. I probably should get sacked for that. But Slovakia are losing 3 0, and we get our first tile on the first half. Remember, it's about 40 minutes last game, and uh, and then we put two on them in the uh, in the last bit. But it is Bohemians who are on the attack now. But Williams gets that out, and but they have got the ball back again. Bohemians in the green. Just passed it around, looking for that breakthrough, and oh, that was almost it. And looking like they're getting something here, this could be a goal. That was a bit of a heart and mouth moment, as we look to go on the counter now with Lukanova. But they had Woody Brams can't get there, and uh, no. That's the XG looking pretty poor on both teams. What a boring, boring first half. Going to point the finger. Um, this has to improve, boys. That's better. Hold on. Alright, uh, you went a bit jerky there for a second. I don't know why it keeps doing that after investigate. Apologies. Um, when it comes to boys, we've been really, really flat. There's enough though to save us because the black are getting absolutely, absolutely pumped. Wouldn't do much in the corner there. But on this here, he wants to come off. Let's get him off for that dude. Anderson on the ball there. That man, Condis now, is carrying that injury. Having had time to make that exact substitution. It's Magnus now being a bit cheeky. Condis, Condis, Condis. Friday, Friday. Now he has a pop and it flies over the bar. Not much happening there, really. Only really made two substitutions. We're going to oh, long throw, and we get the ball back again. Williams there on the ball. We look absolutely just bereft of confidence this game. Sipic now with the ball, what can he do? Plays it back to Williams. Williams looking to get the crossing. It's Sipic with the ball again. Sipic to Williams. Williams, oh, I thought he was going to have a pop there. No. Oh, and we make the goalkeeper actually do something, and it goes out for a corner. And we get big Magnuson up there again. It goes in and Magnuson heads over the bar. Come on, let's chuck some encouragement out for them because we do look pretty good all of a sudden. Everyone's looking a bit flat, but it's... Unfortunately, there's not too much to do down on the bench here. Wilkie Brands is not playing well. I don't really have any options. Okay. Okay, we could do that. Or we could do that. All right. How's that? How's that? A bit of a, a bit of a change here. A bit of a bit of the old switcheroo. It does look like we are going to finish in tenth. Um, I'm going to go very attacking for these last ten minutes. And uh, hopefully we can just, because I'd like to finish nice, that'd be nice too. You know, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. But we're not going to get drawn into that relegation playoffs. So, this, I'll take this, I'll take this. We were poor, 
um, in, or ex executed by like teams and things like whatever. Um, that sounds so good. Bit of a G up there, give them a bit of confidence. Um, yeah, I'll say that. Uh, it's none of their business. It's none of their business what I do with my players. Yeah, we got it. We got it. That's all right. We've finished 10. We've ensured survival. That's what I want to do. Some black over. Ha. Huh. Sucked in. All right. Oh, well, I'll come this is my long oh, three to four weeks. That sucks. So qualified for the European, European places playoff. Um, we'll certainly look back. Yep, yeah, okay. So let's have a look here what goes on with the schedule now. Nothing, nothing's changed. So I might just quick continue and uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, right. oh, here we are. No. For Slovenian Liberic in the first division. So I wonder how this works. So these are all paid out for avoiding relegation. Let's see if the board have changed their tune. A plus, start click of fingers at the point there. Still devastated and disappointed at this, but unbelievable job. And I'm clearly the right manager. Thank you very much. You have full faith. Avoid relegation. Job, job done. Right. So, has anything changed here? Okay, so we played Slovenian Liberic. That's interesting. Because now that did say um, in the European playoff places. You draw as a home team, so first time the winner will meet these guys or these guys, right? Okay, so we could, in theory, okay, so here's the championship. I like the split to the groups now. Look at this relegation group here. I mean, these guys are pretty accurate stuff because you keep the points, you play each other five times like that. Oops. Owned. Okay, so this is all right. Okay, so we play off here, and then I think second round we we play off there, and then we potentially play somewhere in here. Maybe That's so confusing. I'm not sure. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to go away. Um, and either two things are going to happen when we get back. I get back, and we're going to play some um, some more of these playoff places. Or it's just going to be the, the beginning of the season, because... Yeah, unless it's a really important playoff here, like we beat these guys and when we get through that final game, we'll do that, otherwise... Um, I'll, I'll see you at the beginning of the season. So I hope you enjoyed that. I am loving this save at the moment. I'm loving...